Good morning. Hi. So today we're going to Six Flags and um, we're going to go on all the rides, on the attraction, the safari. So I'm really excited. I hope there's not going to be a lot of people. I hope. And yeah, it'll be fun. I can't wait. I'm ready. I got my sports attire. Take us to safari. Are you excited? Uh -huh. Go ahead. He's in a mood today. This is cool. I used to love this. I like this fry. Don't get lost. Follow the blue line. on the safari adventure first if we ever get there we'll go on the water ride we will we're gonna go to safari first and then we're gonna go to the bugs bunny park yes it is too damn hot look at that And here's where all the people are. So we're finally at the path to safari. Look at that. It is a really hot day. Oh god, 
on that too. Ride the truck, and they want to give you a big old sloppy kiss. You can't kiss them back. All right, we enter the exit through our same area. Sometimes you see the animals at the entrance, sometimes you see them at the exit. That is our mixed herd of black bucks over there. Um, we're going to see the bachelor herds out on safari as we get out there. All right, we are coming into the area of the Americas. Over by uh, the tree up there, there's a llama. The llamas are pack animals from south. Of these funky looking birds all around here. Those great ones, those are Rios. They're members of the red type family. They have wings, but they can't fly. The male is the one with the black ring around his neck. The female is smaller and bigger. Now, here's the thing you want to know about the Rio. The male sits on the nest, and the male raises the chicks. So the female lays the eggs. When she's done, she's out of there. She's gone. It's all up to the god. Yeah, some of the animals have some really cool stuff going on. Alright, so we have a Roosevelt elk over on your right hand side, and we have fallow deer up on the corner on your left hand side. Now, both the deer and the elk get antlers, and antlers are temporary. So, as they grow in, they get a soft fuzz. It's called velvet. Uh, the one on the left, the fallow deer, originated from Europe. That's all of our female herd. Our bachelor herd is actually out in the pastures in uh, at the back of our areas. Now they keep their spots all their lives. They can jump up about six feet, jump out about 16. Um, and their antlers are different than elk antlers in the sense that they're more shovel shaped and flat at the end. Um, and it's that side to get your cameras ready here. Now you can see that velvet that's on top of those uh, antlers. So what happens is when they start to grow, they get the velvet. Then halfway through the year, that's our one female hanging out, um, they'll shed the velvet. And then after the mating season, at the end of the year, they'll shed those antlers and the whole cycle starts all over again next season. That is an ostrich. That's okay. That's why I'm here. All right, so we're coming on to Africa, huh? Some of our larger of our animals. Please keep your arms inside the truck. All right, males are black, females are gray. The largest of the red tights, 8 feet, 300 pounds. They can run about 45 miles an hour. Which stride is anywhere from 11 to 16 feet. They use those wings as rudders. But we are in Africa, so of course, the largest of the land animals coming up on your left-hand side are African elephants. So, and I have a nickname for these girls. I call them Ambrosia girls, because they are all over 50 years old, and they are all females. Elephants are matriarchal, which means... Zebra, yes, we do have a bunch of baby zebras around here. All right, so the Asian water buffalo, they hang out over here. I know in Africa, but they hang out over here because the ponds over here are deeper. They can get fully submerged, and they spend the majority of their time in water. Their milk is so thick and creamy, it's uh, used for the peanut butter in India. Coming up on your left, there's an ostrich egg. Ostrich eggs are about three pounds, the equivalent of two dozen chicken eggs. And then we have our zebra all over the place. These are grand zebras. Now, grand zebras. Uh, zebras in general are actually black or brown with white stripes. And the way you can tell is look at their nose. So if their nose is black, then they're black. If their nose is brown, then they're brown. Now they're members of the Ectite family, but they are not related to horses. They are more closely related to donkeys. I know everybody thinks those are the paint the uh, striped ponies, but they're not. They're more the striped donkeys. <laughs> now they're not a domesticated animal. They roll up, they kick, and they bite. They're very, very aggressive. And a herd of them is called the Tazzle. Because when they're all together, it kind of confuses the predators. They have a hard time trying to pick out where one starts and the other one is. But have toilet seat will travel. And that's because it's a big ring, but also they emit the smelly, greasy water pooping secretion. 
Yeah, those are our couple of our giraffes. Da, da, da. Anybody else over there? Scimitar horn dorks. Now, scimitar horn dorks, named for the scimitar sword, they can adapt their body temperature up to 115 degrees, but in the year 2000, they went extinct in the wild. Oh, wow. And then in 2016, they took a herd of 25, they introduced it into Chad in Africa, they had the first wild one born in 30 years, today that herd stands at 90, so they have been reclassified to critically endangered. These guys over here, these are the common eland. They are the second largest uh, of the antelope. The giant eland is first. Then the common eland, they're over 2,000 pounds. And they can jump about eight feet from a standing position, so they can jump right over their uh, predators. And on your left-hand side, reticulated dress, reticulated refers to the reddish-brown net-like pattern. So they are one of nine species. The males can get up to about 18 feet, 4,000 pounds. Females about 16 feet, about 2,000 pounds. Now here's the crazy thing. Your neck is this big, right? You have seven vertebrae. Their neck is this big. They have seven vertebrae. They have the same number of vertebrae as your inside. have. It's kind of, kind of weird. These guys range from Turkey to Russia. Uh, there are a lot of rivers and lakes there, so they're excellent. Oh, look at swimming. It makes up a huge part of their diet. There's a Between the plumbers. Love it. That's so cute. Oh, yeah. We've got a, a bunch of, on the left wall we have one guy who's just hanging out in the hot tub. It's not actually heated, we just call this the pool and we call that the hot tub. But like I said, these guys mainly eat fish because of where they are. However, all bears have a fish part of their diet. So these guys develop the ability to seal their nostrils so don't get water up their nose while they're hunting for fish. So these guys are rabbits on steroids with a pop. Best way to describe it. They're so cute. Yeah, they're so cute. Okay, so you look at the So the other guys we have in here are emus. Now emus are kind of a time capsule of an animal. They haven't changed very much since they became emus. So emus have a calf muscle, which means they can jump from like other birds. They do not have wings. Now making a video, you can talk. Okay guys, my name is Peter Parker. Yeah, talk to yourself. I'll hear you. It's so fast, like supersonic actually. I don't know this is going to be that fast. Welcome to Kayla's Queen Safety Cruise Kilo Arms Legs Inside. Time's in 12 inch meters. Here I talk at visual scan. Oh, go 
close enough. Now we're done. We are hot, we're tired, and we're hungry. But it was fun. We went on roller coasters and I got scared on the first one, but then he liked it. And then he went three more times. Give me your hand. So hungry. Tell me about your, the roller coaster. Did you have fun? Yeah. What was your favorite? The. What is it called again? Oh, the train. The train, that's the one he was scared of, but it was fun. It was awesome. Look at that mountain. So, babe, which way so that behind me, it's a roller coaster that's like really dark inside, but we can't go with Nick because he's too small. See the Sonic right there? Yeah. Alright, fine, go. One more. Who wants to do the game? So we have to play. I'll play this one. We're gonna whack it. Ready? Yeah, 
how much points you got? Mama? Probably like two. Oh my god, that's so cool. Well, my dad got 140. Wow. Yeah. He's so excited. Look at him. Let's go. So after sushi, now it is ice cream. Mm. <laughs> Their whipped cream is so good. I love it. You like whipped cream? Uh huh. Oh, but you chew it, the shot. Just lost the fish. Yeah. It's fried ice cream. Nick, put your shoes, please.